Hello, everyone. Just wanted to give you a quick update on my finished uh, 1966 Ventilator 110 pop machine. So uh, when I got it, it looked like this. And this is what it looks like now after being restored. So um, basically, I, I took it all apart, uh, re-insulated it, repainted everything. Uh, it's just hammer tone, rattle can paint on the inside. Uh, I did get the bottle, uh, the front of the bottle rack. Um, I did get the front of the bottle rack uh, powder coated in white, uh, simply because the bottles slide in and out of that, out, out of those holes. And if it's just paint, uh, it can chip off relatively easily. So the rest painted in single stage urethane paint. It's it's the Pepsi blue. Uh, that they had in, in their computer. So, um, and then the white and the red as well are all the current uh, Pepsi colors. So, uh, I actually had to get three different, three different colors uh, to make it right. So, um, I got a new plaque for it for, for 25 cents. That's what the machine uh, is set for. So, uh, to make it work, you grab a quarter and I'll also take dimes and nickels. Go ahead and put it in. Makes a noise, you open the door, you grab the soda that you want, pull it out, you got your soda, and now uh, after you pull out one bottle, uh, the racks lock, And you can't you can't pull the gates open, and you can't get the and you can't get any more bottles out until you put another quarter in. Uh, so from there, it has a bottle cap remover. Goes in there, falls down in, uh, in into a bucket, and uh, that's how that works. So the only thing a little different about this machine uh, that I hooked up a little bit differently is I really like the the, the machine, and I like and I like it to be functional. Uh, all of the time if somebody wants a soda or, or whatever <clears throat> it does sit outside in, in South Florida uh, you know under my covered patio so um, it doesn't get wet or exposed to the elements um, but the energy costs to keep this old original machine running with the original compressor um, and cooling components you know it was probably I don't know 25 a month 30 a month uh, something you know could be could be that high to keep this thing running um, 24 seven. So, so to get around that, I actually set it up so you could turn the cooling system on and off independently from the rest of the machine. So the machine is currently plugged in, uh, the marquee light works, the door light works, the coin mech works, all of that works, but Yeah, all of that works, but the cooling system, <clears throat> I actually leave shut off. Um, so I'll show you how I accomplished that and an easy way uh, to turn that back on. So it only takes a couple of hours uh, to cool the machine back down. It goes down to about uh, 37, 38, and then the uh, thermostat turns off the compressor up to about 41, 42, and then the cycle, then it turns back on and the cycle continues. So. Um, let me show you what's inside the machine. So uh, there's the coin mech, <coughs> tubes, money over on the door is uh, all the bottle caps. Um, the power so here's the uh, the latch that actually unlocks the uh, refrigerated compartment where all the bottles are what it looks like restored so painted inside and out uh, I didn't replace the plastic uh, liner um, that was that was fine and reused so these labels um, uh, instructions wiring diagrams uh, other things on here are, are all orig original 
just put in new insulation behind there. Um, I did have this completely apart. I ended up going with mostly uh, rigid foam, kind of a styrofoam in, uh, insulation. I found that a lot easier to, to get in there and, and get, to get the tub in there. So I have, it, I have it pretty well stocked. So most of these sodas are the Mexican uh, produced uh, soda with the real uh, cane sugar, so the Pepsi, the Coke. Pepsi's getting harder to find, but they have the Coke, 7-Up, Sprite, Square. They got all these at just Publix, our local supermarket. Um, so we have the condenser, the evaporator, and the, uh, the compressors behind that. <clears throat> so the way I, I turn these off is the, um, the condenser and the, and the compressor just have a plug. There's an outlet just, um, uh, originally, and that's how it was designed. So I thought, okay, well, I'll just plug a Wemo. Uh, one of those remote control outlet, you know, outlets in that plug, then plug the compressor and, and the fan um, assembly into that, and that'll work. And it basically did. So uh, I did run into a problem, but the well, I ran into two problems. The first is it didn't turn off the other fan. So the evaporator here, it has a fan too um, back here. There, there, there's a fan. That, that blows across these coils and keeps all this cool and keeps air moving, um, you know, throughout, throughout the compartment. And it still ran. So I turned off the, the lower just by basically unplugging it from the outlet uh, using a Wemo, but the fan inside still ran and it generated a lot of heat. So I put a thermometer in there and it was up over 100 degrees, uh, even though it wasn't really that hot outside. And that fan, that electric motor just running in this sealed refrigerator was a problem so I could have wired that into um, how the other one works but I had another Wemo laying around so I just cut the cable uh, used an extension cord and put a Wemo in line of the power supply and this fan and then using Google Home on my Android phone I was able to create a routine basically linking the two Wemos together so now either I can run the routine or I can just say uh, the magic words and the cooling system turns on it and they're they're linked together so it turns on both of them so the problem I had is a Wemo plug doesn't remember the last state that it was in so if you turn it off uh, it, you know because when it when it because after the pot machine gets down to temperature the thermostat turns it off Right, the thermostat turns the plug off, simulating a power outage to the Wemo. Right, so there's two things that deactivate that plug, you know, the, the Wemo and uh, the thermostat. So the problem is, you know, once the machine once the machine heats back up, and the thermostat turns it back on, with the Wemo not re not remembering the last state, it would just stay off. So the two fans would run, or or just the single fan would run in the box, but the compressor would never ever turn back on again. Because uh, that's not how the Wemo works. So I, so I replaced that plug with a TP-Link plug, and it remembers the last state. So simple as that. Works perfect. If, if it was off, it stays off. If it was on, and it loses power because of the, um, uh, because of the thermostat, then when power is restored, the compressor turns back on, and voila, it works like magic. So I can probably show you on my phone... Okay, so the Pepsi machine is on. Uh, I'm not able to show it to you on the phone um, because when I go to run the routine, it pauses the recording. So I um, just have to take my word for it that that Google Home automation routine works to turn on uh, both the fan and the compressor. So that's pretty much, uh, pretty much it and how everything works. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this video please give a thumbs up and a subscribe thank you